Okay, for this example, then we have an improper functions. Okay, what you have to do is you have to simplify it by using long divisions, okay? And from the long divisions, what we have here is you have the answer of x squared plus 2. So we have the integration of x. Uh, okay, now we have an example of the improper uh, improper functions. Okay, we're going to integrate these improper functions. And in order to solve these improper functions, you have to do the long divisions. Okay, and the long division will give you the answer of x plus 2. So the next time you will have the integrations of x plus 2 and plus we the remainder, remainder that is 3, divided by this x plus 1. All right. Okay. Once you have this, it's like basically you have something that is very simple for you to integrate. So instead of one division, so you can split it into three. So we have this one. Okay. So uh, this one you will have the answer of this one is actually. How can I can take out this number three? I take out the number three, so I can write it here. So this is actually three minus one. So we have the ln here. Okay. So for the first integration, so we have the answer of x squared over two. The second equation, so we have two x, and then we have three ln x plus one plus c as the answer for this example. Okay, for the second example, so okay, we have the integrations of x squared for minus 1 over x minus 1. So uh, from the long division, we can see that we have no remainder for the answer, okay, for the answer of the uh, divisions. Okay, so um, never mind, okay, let's just go for the integration part, okay, so the answer of the long division that is only x squared plus x plus 1. So we have x squared plus x plus 1, and we have the x here. So now, this is very simple to integrate. So we will have the answer of x3, x power 3 over 3, and we have x squared over 2, and then we have the x, and then we have plus c. So this is the answer for the example 2.